Good afternoon, T1CQ. Thank you for watching my YouTube videos. Please like and subscribe when you can. Everybody knows that I, I, I do a lot with Hams over IP, a voice over internet protocol for ham radio operators. It's a ham PBX telephone network that you can dial to some all-star nodes that are actually members of our network. For example, there's DV Scotland Phoenix Group. They have a connection with us. There's the Extended Freedom Network. CQ UK Network. Uh, there obviously are, uh, and, and obviously there, there's the Freestyle Network. They have a connection with us as well. And many more around the world, Australia, New Zealand, many more in the States, and you can dial into them. Um, watch my other videos uh, on, on that. Today we're going to talk about how you join Hams over IP. Now, forget the website for the moment, that is actually causing us, we must admit, that is actually causing us a bit of a headache when you log in and have an account verified with us it's going to take some time for somebody to come back not everyone can actually access that system to for verification on somebody's account system so so for the moment don't worry about that you can come straight over to our help desk and request an, an extension it's amateur radio only not GMRS as there are some people over in the states that are GMRS uh, license operators. It's got to be an amateur radio operator, not GMRS. So you put into your browser helpdesk handsoverip.com and this would actually come up. You can uh, create an account here, upload your license information, PDF document. If you haven't got a DMR ID, the reason why we ask for a DMR ID is because, or even a license, is because this is obviously amateur radio. The all-star nodes do gate it back out onto RF. If you haven't got a DMR ID, then we will require a copy of the license, just a verification that you are who you are. With a DMR ID, because you can actually call somebody, not just on your extension, but also via your DMR ID. And to be honest, if you've got a DMR ID, you've already uploaded your license information to, to an organisation that you can't get a DMR ID, DMR ID if you haven't actually got an amateur radio licence. So once, once that is actually done, and you've uploaded all the information that is necessary, we have three types of extension numbers starting with the number one is for North America Canada South America that sort of region the EU region and the UK is uh, the extensions start with a two and for Asia and Pacific and Oceania region the extensions start with a number three. So whatever call sign you have or whatever region you have, make sure you've actually selected the correct one. Once that's done and you confirm, myself and many others receive an email and we'll be able to um, configure that for you. And you send over your credentials via email. You would need to program your phone assuming you've actually got one please make sure it is unlocked password free and the customization is open if i open up another window here as an example if, you, if you're going to get a 525g2 like i have they're not bad prices make sure it's unlocked password free 
and the customization is open again. The reason why that is password free is because one of the networks and majority of members that use this type of um, system are members of most majority of the networks. So Hamshack Hotline is one of the is another network. They automatically provision the phone for you. You've got to get onto their website. I can't help you with 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 that process. I don't think it'd be fair for an admin team member from another network showing you how. So get onto their website, and that will show you how to get that done. Get that done first, because they actually provision the phone on line one. All the other lines, because my Cisco 525 has five lines, and they all fill up with networks. You can then obviously uh, join the other networks, and of course, hands over IP. To program your radio, once you get your... Um, Credential through the post, just quickly, or by email, I should say. No, that's the wrong page. It's so actually fire the phone's IP address. That's um, one of my 525s. Goes directly into uh, the page where I've already logged in. To admin and advance and I'm ready to uh, program the phone but that's for another day otherwise the video will go on too long so make sure if you're buying a phone or looking around for a phone make sure it's password free unlocked to a network and the customization is open log in and create an account on our support centre all our support team staff can actually get into this so anyone can actually uh, deal with your ticket we have um, operation team members from the states from the UK and from Australia and New Zealand so everybody around the globe can actually do this for you when they come available don't forget we're all our volunteers once that's done that's done normally when I do a ticket I normally put my extension number underneath you're more than happy to uh, give us a, sh a call check out our wiki on the website put in for a search and put some test numbers and it will come up with some test numbers for you that you can actually dial and it'll uh, come back with your extension number and so on and so on and so on and even the time I think there's one on there for for a time so uh, that's a good way of making sure that uh, your phone is actually working if you have any criticism or any questions by all means send us a message on uh, YouTube or by all means find me on Facebook or email via qrz.com thank you very much for uh, watching my videos again please like and subscribe 73's